Hi, today I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. This is a first for me. There's some fish down in this little stream and it's very, very clear water. I noticed it yesterday when I walked past and there's some very small fish and some medium sized fish. And I thought if I was to drop my GoPro camera into the water right next to them, maybe there's a chance they'll come and swim close to the camera. So that's what I've just done. I've put the waterproof GoPro Hero 6, I think it is, into the water and just left it running. It's on 4K, 60 frames per second, so I can slow it down a touch. And uh, I've just never done anything like this before. So it's a, a new thing and it's unusual that I actually I don't know anything about fish. So I don't know the species that I'm photographing either. But we'll see how it looks in a, in a moment. You can just see the camera to the left hand side. There's a house brick there and the fish swimming around it. And the first thing that strikes me about this is the fish actually seem to be attracted to the camera. They seem to be swimming up to it. I wish, wish bird photography was as easy as this. Now as you can see we've got a small problem in that this river tends to run downhill. It's on a very steep slope and I'm going to have to adjust the camera to try and level it out. That's better. The next GoPro Hero I buy needs to have an auto leveler built into it. So first of all the species of fish. The larger ones are dace and there's also a much smaller fish there with some black markings on the side. There's one in the bottom left at the moment which will be a gudgeon. I did also have perch go through but overall the video ran for about an hour and I've obviously had to edit it and you can see occasionally where, where I dissolve from one clip into another clip because at times there was nothing in front of the camera. The GoPro will run until either the memory card fills up which is a 64 gigabyte so that will take a long time or the battery goes flat and that's typically after about two hours. Everything we're looking at of the fish is in slow motion and it's more or less half speed. The GoPro is waterproof down to about 10 meters. I can't believe I'm ever going to want to go that deep and I imagine the light starts to disappear when you do. So it's waterproof enough for anything that I'm going to want to do. But it's what they call an action camera. When you see these cyclists going along with little cameras on their helmets or clipped to their handlebars, it's one of those type of cameras. Very tough, very waterproof. There's no focusing on the camera, it's a fixed focus, but it's not very close to the front of the lens. Six or seven inches, something like that. So sometimes the fish are coming in and they are clearly out of focus. Well, that seemed to work really easily so I'm, now I've just gone down and I've changed the camera instead of taking video it's taking stills pictures but on a time-lapse basis so it's every half a second it's taking another stills picture see how that comes out the stills pictures I took weren't that great I guess the shutter speed was a bit on the slow side so they're not absolutely razor sharp and the murky water starts having an effect. In video you don't really notice it and it just looks far far better in video mode. Now the light has changed now, the sun has gone behind the clouds, it be interesting to see if I get a, a different result. You can see the picture has lost the sparkle. It does look better when there's rays of sunlight coming in from above. But you don't have to wait very long and the cloud moves and the sun starts to filter through again. The reason I'm doing this today is the weather forecast was awful. Gale force winds and it's hard to photograph birds in very strong winds. They tend to keep low and skulk. But I thought, well, it won't affect these fish. So that's why I've come to have a go at it. 
The GoPro Hero 8 is the latest one. I believe that will do up to 240 frames per second slow motion. I've never had a camera that do that much before, but that's in high definition, not in 4K. In 4K, I think it's only 60 frames per second. You can see some gudging. They are down on the left hand side. Well, that one coming into the left corner now, with those black marks on the side of it. I really enjoy watching these fish. I could sit here for hours, I think, watching this. I really enjoy doing it too. It's not likely I'm going to be able to repeat it very easily because there's not many stretches of water which are so clear and got such large numbers of fish in and such a small area too. But I really enjoyed doing it. It was about an hour and 20 minutes drive away from the house and I was there the day before which is when I saw it and I'm glad I went back to have another go at it. All the time I'm watching this, I'm sort of urging a pike to come swimming in from the left-hand side and grab one of these fish in front of the camera. Don't think it's going to happen. So that's it, the GoPro Hero 6. They're now on the GoPro Hero 8. And they're remarkably cheap cameras, so I wouldn't mind buying one of those. I've set it up a few times on the floor, trying to photograph hares and deer, etc. And a few birds, but I haven't had a great deal of success with it. But uh, I'm not gonna look at the pictures now. You can view the pictures on the back, but I'm not gonna do that, it's too small. I'll wait till I get home and have a, a proper look at it.